we really set truly ambitious goals for RDNA3. And as you know, at the forefront for what we're doing is it's all about power and energy efficiency. And we want to make sure that we continue to innovate around performance per watt leadership to enable all of the gamer upgrades to be done with fantastic performance, but at a reasonable power. And we also wanted to significantly raise the bar in performance to support the next generation of 4K gaming and beyond, and really recognize that there are a lot of faster and higher resolution displays. And then finally, we also look at it as not just about the chip and not just about the card, but really what is the gaming experience we can bring. And that means new AMD software features, that means platform technologies, and really end-to-end -end solutions with our CPUs and GPUs and software co coming together. So there's a lot of innovation in RDNA 3, and we'll tell you all about it today. Now, there's a lot been said about our new chiplet design, so let me start with our chiplet design. This is the world's first chiplet gaming GPU. Now, why did we use chiplets? Chiplets really allow us to use a modular approach to optimize the performance and efficiency of the overall design. And so with our chiplets, like we've done on the CPU side, on the GPU side, we're mixing and matching the right technology for each function. Now, the graphics compute die is a high performance five nanometer technology design, and it contains all of the high performance compute in the GPU. That includes the shaders, the display engine, and a brand new media engine as well. And then the other die is a memory cache die, and it's built in six nanometer process technology and includes the memory subsystem that features the GDDR6 controllers, as well as up to 96 megabytes of infinity cache. And as a result, we have just an incredible capability with more than 61 teraflops of compute. By the way, do you guys think you need 61 teraflops of compute? <laughs> we also have the world's fastest triplet interconnect to enable 5.3 terabytes per second of peak bandwidth. And that allows us to unlock the full potential of 24 gigabytes of GDDR6. So all together, when you put that together, we have 58 billion transistors in this design, which gives us just an incredible amount of gaming performance. It sounds like there's a few excited people out there. OK, so now let me show you for the very first time our newest triplet gaming GPU. This may be my favorite part of my job, I think. <laughs> All right, so look, as I said earlier, we set very ambitious goals for RDNA3, especially around energy efficiency. And I'm pleased to say that we actually exceeded our goals. So our engineers did a fantastic job, and we made great improvements between RDNA1 and RDNA2. And with RDNA3, we actually achieved a 54% gen over gen improvement in performance per watt. And when you put all of that together into what really matters, we're about building the best products for you. So today, I'm incredibly proud that we're going to announce our first two RDNA 3 graphics cards. The Radeon RX. <laughs> the Radeon RX 7900 XTX with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 and the 7900 XT with 20 gigabytes. So you can imagine, these are just incredible gaming cards. So now I'm going to turn it over to Sam, Scott, and Frank that are going to take you through all of the exciting product details. Sam? <laughs> 